Are you tired of manually tweaking every little design detail on your website? Say hello to DB5 Find and Replace feature, your new secret weapon for lightning fast updates. This tool is all about making your life easier and in this video we are going to break down everything that you need to know about it. From what it does, how it works and why it's a total must have, we are going to cover everything. So if that sounds interesting then let's dive in. My name is Ankit and you are watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel, the makers of the DB Visual Builder. Now just a heads up, DB5 Public Alpha is out now and it's perfect for kicking off fresh projects but hold on to migrations yet. And if you want to learn more and deep dive into this topic then we have created a complete blog post that we are going to link in the video description below. So once you are done with this video, go ahead and check out the blog post, I'm sure you will find it helpful. So what exactly is this find and replace magic? Picture it as your design assistant that instantly updates everything, colors, fonts, padding, you name it, across page, section, row or module. It's ridiculously easy to use. Just right click a field in your design settings and hit find and replace and swipe out old values with the new ones wherever you want. Want to change a font weight across your whole site? Done. Need to tweak padding in one section? Not a problem. It's fast, it's precise and it keeps your design consistent without any hassle. So let's go ahead and dive in into our DV5 Visual Builder and see how it works. Alright, so here we are inside the DV Visual Builder and here we have just imported a sample page. So let's first see where we can find this find and replace option. So let's say we click on this blur module here and in order to find and replace anything about this blur module, we need to go to design and let's say we want to change the icon background color. So either we can search for modified from this search filter or maybe we can go to images and icon and we have this background color option here. So we can click on these three dots option. Here we have the find and replace or we can simply right click here and we will again find this find and replace option. Once we click on this, it's going to open this pop up and let me just bring it to the center and make it a little big. And here we can see it by default selected the blur module which we have selected here. And we now see the current value of this blur module that is the background color and here's the color code. But just in case you want to do find and replace for any other module, you don't have to close this and jump around on different modules. All you have to do is just select the module that you want to work on. So let's say we click on this title here. So you can see it automatically updated the source element as this heading instead of the blur module that we're working on. And now let's say if we click on this module. So now you see it instantly updated the source element to this social media follow module. So this is how easy it is to switch between different module to work with find and replace. So now we are back on our blur module as the source element. So before we proceed, let's go ahead and discuss about all these options here. So first we have source element which contains the value we are searching for. Now as mentioned before, we can switch our source element either by clicking on modules on our page or we can simply click on this drop down option here and here we will find all the modules that we have on this page. Then we have find value. Now this is the value that we want to update. So we need a source value which we can take and then replace it with something else, which is our replace value. So in this case, as our find value is color, our replace value will definitely going to be a color only. And from here we can enter the color code or we can choose our dynamic variables from here. Now after this we have find and replace in location option. So here we need to decide where we want this replacement to happen. So right now we have entire page selected. We can choose current element if you want to focus on this particular element or we can choose any other option from this list. And then we have an option to find and replace in element type. So on which element type we want to replace this value we have to select from here. 
So by default, it is selected on all elements. So we are going to leave it as it is, but you can go ahead and target any option from here. Now we have already selected our blur module and here we have the find value as this background color, the yellow one. And let's say we want to replace it with some value. So let's select any color from our global color palette or from our global variable manager. And let's say we choose this one and then we want to replace this on entire page and all the elements. So once we are done, we just need to click on find and replace button from here. And boom, it instantly got updated on all the blur modules. And here we can see it updated on 12 fields. So let's click on OK. And so it got updated here. And here as well. So this is how easy and quick it is. So this was the case when we have imported a sample page and we want to change the color scheme for it. Now let's take another example. Let's say we have created a page and we have a lot of content on it, but now we want to change the font style of our headings here. So we can again click on this heading, go to design and we want to change the font of our heading. So once again, we go to heading font, right click on this and we have find and replace option. Let's click on this. And once again, we have the find value as this font, which is the current value. And we want to replace it with something else. So let's say we again choose anyone from our global variables. So let's click on this. And again, we will leave it on entire page and all the elements and then click on find and replace. And as soon as we click on this, we now got all our headings updated. Okay, but why you should care as a DV user? Because find and replace is a total game changer. It gives DV5 a feature edge over other popular page builders and honestly, not many can match this level of power. If you are juggling with complex sites and multiple projects, this feature slashes the time you spend digging through settings. And plus, it's a dream from moving DV4 to DV5, helping you update styles to fit DV5's sleek new design systems like design variables. Now let's talk about where this feature shines in real world scenarios. First up, brand refreshes. Say your client got a new color scheme. With find and replace, you can update each instance of old colors across your site in seconds. No more tedious module by module edit. Next, style adjustments. Want borders on all your images or better padding in some rows? Just right click, replace and you are golden. For client revisions, it's a lifesaver. Swipe button styles or font size instantly. And for design experiments, you can go ahead and test new color palettes or font weight across your page without breaking a sweat. It's all about speed with creativity. Key benefits of find and replace. Now let's sum up the awesomeness. First, time saving. Manual update takes ages to cover. Find and replace does them in seconds. Number two, flexibility. You can go big and update an entire page or zoom in in specific elements. It's your call. Number three, error reduction. No more missing spots or sloppy mistakes. This tool makes everything spot on. It's like having a design superpower that makes your work faster, cleaner and way more fun. So there you have it. Divi 5 Find and Replace is your ticket to smarter and faster web design. It's all about saving time, nailing consistency and letting you focus on creative stuff. So ready to try it out? Grab the Divi 5 Public Alpha and start with new project. It's perfect for fresh builds. And want full scope? Then go ahead and check out our blog post that we are going to link in the video description below. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.